what's up I have done a snack box swap with one of my friends from Australia um, and I just got her box I opened it but I haven't looked through it um, so let's go I there was a letter so I'm gonna read that first it says hi Jess I really hope you enjoyed this box I have tried to include as much variety as I could so you could get a taste of everything Below I have added descriptions of the items and instructions on how to eat some of it. And then it's just a, ba a base, a bunch of descriptions. And then at the end it's, I think that is everything. I really hope you enjoyed. I can't wait to see what you have sent me. Thank you so much for doing this walk with me. It's been so fun. So thank you, Anna. Um, I know you'll be watching this, so thank you. Um, the first thing I see, is this kangaroo this is the cutest thing ever and it's definitely going with my stuffed animal collection which is basically just two stuffed animals small ones um that i got from friends uh, and yeah i love it thank you so much it's so cute with a little baby as well in the pouch does it come out? Nope. I'm not gonna try it. Um, I'll break it. But this is very cute. Thank you. Okay, so I am going to have to get the letter with it as well. And I am going to try some of it. Not everything, because I'll get fat. This is Jumpy's Chicken Flavored Crunchy Potato Snacks. And she says... Little kangaroo shaped chips, a classic lunchbox filler for kids in Australia. Um, she got me two packets of these, so I am gonna try it. If I can actually open it. Whew, that's a strong smell. Okay, okay, that's really cute. It's actually <laughs> kangaroo shaped. Okay. Chicken feather, I don't know what to expect. Whoa. I mean, that's pretty good. Well, I like that. I'm gonna know to this because that's actually really good. Thank you. That's nice. I'm gonna probably say thank you. With everything next on the list is Smith's. Smith's, um, if you didn't know, yeah, English isn't my first language, so I'm sorry for any mispronunciations. Smith's chips, the best chips in Australia. My favorite flavor is the salt and vinegar. Here's the thing I'm not a salt and vinegar person, like at all, but I'm willing to try it. Not right now, but I am willing to try it. So the pink ones are salt and vinegar. Oh gosh, I see cheese and onion. <sighs> Here's the thing, I hate cheese. And that's coming from a Dutchie. Um, so I'll probably give, we'll give this to my dad. Cause yeah, I cannot, nope, I can't do it, I'm sorry. And more chicken flavored chips. If these are like as good as the jumpies, I will love it. Love it. And I'm trying to get in shape and not eat as many snacks, but there's so much in here. How am I gonna do this? Okay. Let's continue. Shapes. Crackers with seasoning. Each different flavor has a different shape. My favorite is barbecue. Pizza doesn't taste like pizza. Okay, that's good because I don't eat pizza. Kind of weird. I know. Don't judge me. She has... There's so many. Oh my 
goodness. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have two of the pizza. Flavor, you can see. Oven baked, not fried. Sorry, I've got to show you. The barbecue one. And more chicken! <laughs> Do you like chicken? I like chicken. I am gonna try the chicken. <laughs> and you can see the touch my nose, that's not great, okay. Whoa, right it doesn't taste like chicken. I mean, it's not bad, but the jumpies are better. I'm not gonna lie. The jumpies are better. But she said her favorite ones are the barbecue ones. That scares me. So, barbecue is so different anyway. And I'm normally not a barbecue person. That is so difficult with food. Oh, that's... Oh. That tickled my nose. Okay. Mm. That's actually not bad. Oops. That's actually not bad. Nice. I like this bone better than the chicken one. <laughs> I hit the back of my throat. <coughs> I will say please. I can't try everything. Like, I can't open everything. No, I have to eat everything at the same time. This is not going well. Okay, next. Milo. A classic Aussie drink for kids and adults. Add two to three teaspoons to a glass then add cold milk and stir for a classic cold milo add two to three teaspoons to a mug with hot water and a splash of milk for a hot milo which is sort of like a hot chocolate milo ah this is milo there's a footballer i have no idea who it is it's from last way we do not have this but we do have nesquik which is Basically, like the same idea. Okay, I love chocolate milk, like a hot chocolate milk. So, I am curious to try this out. We'll let you know if I like it or not, and I probably will. So, thank you for that. Vegemite, of course, there had to be Vegemite. I don't know if I'm ready. Okay, I'm just not as bad as people make out. <laughs> make it out. I can't read. Do not eat on a spoon. Yuck. Spread a tiny amount of pea size on a piece of toast with lots of butter. I like it on pieces of cheese too. No, I don't, I don't eat cheese, so... I'll try it out. Well, we all know what Vegemite looks like. I won't open it now. But I am actually willing to try this out. Even if so many people say they hate it. But like, it reminds me of something we have here, but it's definitely not the same. Because that's apple and that is not apple. Okay, next. Other side. I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm just gonna spell it out. It's K-I-E-S. And I can't pronounce it the Dutch way, but I think that'll sound good. Um, it's tea. It's locally made tea. Super good quality. They smell awesome. Just make like normal tea. I got you a classic Australian breakfast and interesting pina colada. Pina colada? Honey. <laughs> 
There better not be any alcohol in there. <laughs> One, never tried the pina colada, so let me know if it's any good. <laughs> I will let you know. I will firstly make a cup of the the prices on it. Thanks. Um, with the Australian breakfast one. Actually excited to try that out. That is really amazing. Thank you. I'm scared. It's gonna explode. Okay, no. Ooh. Whoa, that smells a lot like fruit. Ooh, that smells good. And this one. <gasps> That's what I meant. Ooh, okay, this is a lot smaller. I love the smell of tea. I don't drink it often enough, but I do. I do enjoy it sometimes. Okay. What is it? Tip times! I've heard of this. I've never had it. Classic chocolate biscuit. Yum. Alright. That's well. <laughs> Fair enough. We have uh, the Tim Tams. Right here. These are original, made with irresistible real chocolate. There is no substitute. I have to try this. Like, I've heard so much about this. And I have seen it in stores here, actually, but I've never had it. So, here we go. First, ever Tim Tam. Mm. I love anything chocolate, really. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. Yes. Thank you. I'm chocolate on my fingers. Okay, I love that. Thank you. We'll be obsessed with those. Wagon wheels. Biscuit with jam and marshmallow. I have heard of it. I've never seen it in real life. I have to have a search for it. Give me a second. There's so much chocolate in here. Here they are. Wagon wheels. Oh, these are the wagon wheels. These are the eight mini chalk coated marshmallow and jam snack. I have to. Mm. That's so much softer than I thought it would be. But really good. But I'm not allowing myself to eat the whole thing. Okay. Snake chocolate. Chocolate with different flavor fillings. There is a picture on the back of the packet that tells you which pattern is which flavor. I think that's this one. Nope, it's not. <laughs> I don't know. You see? Oh my gosh. No. Snack chocolate. Snack chocolate. Give me a sec. Um, this is also not it. Or is it? No. 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 Oh. I see. A lot of. 
There's a chocolate that came out of something. Something. Oh, this one opened. Okay, well, I'll try this one then. Just. <laughs> no. Is it? No. 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 Which one is it? Oh gosh, there's so much chocolate. You know the way to my heart. I am a little lost here. Because there are these things. But she mentioned these. There's different fillings to them. But this is... Oh my god, there's so much, but I don't see them. It's fine. There's a lot more. Okay, next. Um, caramel koala. Chocolate with caramel filling. Koala shape. I have a platypus, Tasmanian devil, kangaroo. Yes, I have these. Okay, we know what chocolate and oil she gave me three and caramel tastes like so thank you i will enjoy these <sighs> furry friends those are these the platypus tasmanian devil kangaroo and wombat oh this one oh i need to put these in the fridge this one broke, I think. What is this? Um, super cute plain milk chocolate, okay. For me to put in a fridge, cause they're melting. It's very hot here. Chupa chups. I know chupa chups. And I love chupa chups. Oh, yes. The, the strawberry and cream are my favorites. I'm opening it right now. Getting one out for at the end because I love them. Sopo, Sepos. I it says don't bite them, but I always bite them. It's fine. Um, there are these two, and one is seven sour strawberry flavored chews. Oh, I love sour stuff, and seven, seven sour grape flavored chews. I like sour things. Party mix. We love gummies. Even though they make my feet hurt. But we like them. So thank you. Jeffus. Chocolate and orange covered in hard shell. My dad will absolutely love these. He, he is obsessed with orange chocolate thingies so i will share these with him i know what it tastes like orange and chocolate so and curly whirly chalk covered caramel very chewy that's the one that opened i don't know how it opened but it opened so uh, oh that's very chewy <laughs> it's good but very chewy. I don't know if I'm reading this right. No let? Oh, violet! <laughs> violet crumble. <laughs> I 
again, I knew what it said because I read the packet. Um, Fire and Crumble. Chalk covered honeycomb. I've never had honeycomb. So much chocolate. I'm obsessed. Thank you very much. Cherry Ripe. That one fell as well. Is this more chocolate? <gasps> Cherry and oh, coconut. Mm, covered in dark chocolate. More coconut tasting than cherry. That's sad. I will try it, but I know I'm not a coconut fan. But I am willing to try it. Not right now. <laughs> Flake. Okay. Crumbly milk chocolate. I mean, just give me chocolate and I'm set. I love this. There is a dairy milk. Oh, this is the one that I was confused about. This is not chocolate. Chocolate with different. Ah, oh, now I see it. The different shapes say what taste they are. So we have coconut, pineapple, strawberry, Turkish delight, caramel, and orange. Okay. Sounds great. I'm gonna definitely have to put all of that in the fridge. All the chocolate. Um, I'm open opening the chupa chup because I love these and I haven't had these in forever. <laughs> and open them. I'm so bad at opening lollipops. Lollipop, lollipop. Yes. This is, I think, Lego. Some kind of Lego. Um, where I can build a Tasmanian devil. Oh, you can collect them all. They have a kangaroo, a tortoise, tortoise, I don't know <laughs> my pronunciation, a koala, Tasmanian devil, which is one, a parrot, and it looks like a frog. I don't know what it is with the other things. Hmm. Animal name. Tasmanian devil. Scientific name. Sarcophilus harishi. harishi. Size. Males 80 centimeters, 8 kilograms. Females 80 centimeters. Same thing. Status. Endangered. Can be found in Tasmania. A fact. A cancer named devil facial tumor disease kills many devils each year and is spread by biting. Cancer-free captive populating populations have been bred on the mainland. Nice. One more. Mm, nice. I don't know what I will be doing. I will firstly be putting all the chocolate in the fridge. And then I'll be building my Tasmanian devil. Thank you very much, Anna, for sending this to me. I really hope the box gets to you, gets to you soon and you get to open it and enjoy everything because... I know you'll love some of the things I put in there. Oh, yeah. And to the rest of you, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.